It's DJ Barbecue at the London Freeze Festival just off the River Thames. And I've got a slew, a smorgasbord of rad skiers and snowboarders that are gonna be eating up some of our tender, tasty biddles. The smokers in the back, next to the VIP section, so let's get cooking. Sweet, smoky, beer can chicken. It's beer can chicken time with DJ Barbecue and Nate Kern. That's got a good sound, Nate. Check it out, man. Nate is five times British Big Air Snowboard Champion. This guy can spin a five, a seven, a nine. His tricks are so smooth and buttery, he's off the right Dictor scale. He's cooking with me today, and man, am I stoked. That's low, that's low. This one's really high. That's hot, yeah, that's a bit hot. Okay, so we're gonna start with the rub. So can I ask you to crack some pepper first? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, there we go. Put a little bit of salt in there. 50-50-ish. Perfect, that's what I want, a 50-50. You've got the rub rocking. I want you to drizzle some olive oil on our chickens. Get it in there. Salt and freshly cracked pepper. Get it in all the nooks and crannies. Remember to wash those hands. You gotta be careful with chicken. Nice pinch of thyme. They've got the salt, they've got the pepper, they've got the thyme. Now it's time. Sorry, that was, that was awful. You can fire me right now if you want. Uh, the essential ingredient for beer can chicken is a 12 ounce can of beer. And we're also gonna do a Coke can. So this one gives it, this kind of uh, a more savory flavor. This one gives it a bit more sweet flavor. Crack that can open, pour half of it in there. I'm gonna crack my, my Coke can. Okay, but we'll save it for a bit of a marinade later. To my homies. What we're gonna do with the cans, we're gonna shove them up the chicken's butt, derriere, ass. Mmm, tasty, right? The chicken's gonna sit on that can. When it gets hot in there, that can's gonna steam up, and that beer's gonna steam and keep the inside of that chicken nice and moist. You've moistened it from the outside, now we're gonna moisten it within and give it a bit of flavor within. Put some time in, in the can. So you're flavoring the beer, and the beer was gonna flavor the chicken. Boom. Now's not a good time to pick your nose. <laughs> what, what? What up, what up, what up, what way? Yo, what's up, dog? Yo. You proud? I'm really proud. Let's get her on the smoker. Get it, Nate. Right in the middle. It's safe. Woo, safe. All right. So, we're gonna get this thing fired up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and give those birds about an hour and 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna get this thing fired up so it cooks properly for you. Don't forget to wash your hands, dude. Salmonella sucks. Ain't about slow and low with chicken. It's about heat. All right, Nate, do the honors. There we go. Now you should actually let these rest for about 10 minutes, but I'm hungry. He wants the skin too. Ready? Oh my gosh. That is unbelievable. You can taste like the pepper and the salt, you know, and the nice olive oil rub and a bit of thyme in there. And then it's just moist the whole way through, isn't it? So moist. So juicy. All right, now let's do the Coke can chicken. Yep, hardly any Coke left. You ready? That is so good. Mm. It's got a bit more of a sweeter taste, doesn't it? Whoo, the heat on the pepper, man. I think once you shove a beer can up a chicken's ass, you'll never not shove a beer can up a chicken's ass. <laughs> Camera dude, you want some beer can chicken? All right. That's right, it's good. Cut them off. Oh man, that was good. That was good, huh? I'm ready to ride. All right, good luck, all right? Cheers. Now, if you guys want to learn more about DJ Barbecue, Jamie Oliver, and all the other chefs on Jamie Oliver's Food Tube. All you gotta do is high five to subscribe. So I want you to put a high five up there, a nice greasy one. High five Nate Kern's hand, and then you guys can uh, check out more of the rad recipes and rad chefs we got on the Food Tube. Sounds awesome. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Shred it, dude. Peace out. All right, late. You guys digging what you see? 
Then grab a spade and get to work on my awesome bacon firebomb. Click the link. Do it. If you want to see the latest recipes from Jamie Oliver's FoodTube channel, as soon as they are uploaded, you've got to subscribe, man. It's very easy to do. Just click this link and follow the instructions.